Seahawks after a Monday night road game go all the way to Seattle and go all the way to Carolina. Mike Holmgren coaching against his ex-head coach George Seifert and Holmgren going with a new quarterback that's on the right. That's Brock Heward, number 11, looking at stats and plays, etc. with John Kitna. He didn't get catches from Christian Euphoria. And now here's the next series for Seattle in trouble. Continued on offense for Seattle. Who have not made big plays. Pete Kendall goes out with a stinger. And then on second and eight, two plays later, Jay Williams splits the left tackle on left guard, Frank Bede, where, where Kendall was hurt. Well, great job of splitting the double team by the guard and the tackle and getting through and getting a pretty easy sack because the offensive line got confused. Mushin Muhammad wasn't in, but no problem. This looks like Mushin Muhammad Jr. It's Donald Hayes from Steve Burline. Touchdown, 43 yards. And Muhammad says, you know what, young man? Well done, but don't get too good at it. <laughs> Burline to Wesley Walls. He is good at it. 7 0, looking to extend the lead. Same drive from the 11. Burline to Isaac Bird. Chirps his way to the 5. Then from the 5, Burline to bar none. William Floyd juggles. Touchdown. 14 0 Panthers. First half, you get the picture. Panthers 17 first down, Seahawks 1. Burline almost picked off by Kerry Joseph. Might have turned the game around, but probably not. From their own 33, Brock Heward, the lefty, to Daryl Jackson. Jackson's played well. Sean Alexander stuffed on fourth and one. And Carolina had all the answers. Mike Holmgren playing their third straight road game, and Panthers skunk them 26-3. As uh, Carolina had 447 yards of total offense, Heward made no turnovers, but they got only three points. Well, the Carolina offense was one that we expected a lot of coming into this season. Made a change with the offensive coordinator going into this weekend, and I think we saw immediate results.